This is Tom from Brutalitopia.com interviewing Martin Van Trunnen of Asfix. And Martin, how are you doing today, man? Good. Thanks. It's good to be down in Maryland. First time for you guys, for you in like five years, right? Nah, two or three or something. Maybe it was Asfix. It was like, two, like 2009, something like that. Uh, I think we played, uh, yeah, 2009 and, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's been a few years. Okay. True. So, uh, how, how do you think the reception was to you guys doing, you know, Death the Brutal Way and Death Hammer the last couple of years, man? Those were fucking great albums, dude. Uh, thanks. Uh, reception was good. Fucking hell. I mean, they sold well. Fans love the, uh, love the, love the track. So, it's very special because, um, yeah, you think, like, you know, the people still are only going to like, like the old stuff. But, uh, yeah, they really like the new, new material, too. So, that's, yeah, that's what's like the best compliment you can get as a band. I got to tell you that Rifle Gun Redeemer got me through college. <laughs> I'm hoping to, see, hoping to see you guys play that one tonight. No, no, that's that's the one that's hardly in the set anymore. Because uh, the thing is, we have to, you know, we, we, if you play for an hour and with all the stuff that we have, you have to combine really old shit that the people really want to hear and some new stuff too, you know. So it's just really tough always. So I'm, I'm definitely going to hear the Crusher tonight. Is that what you're telling me? Holy shit! Hang on. Wow! Thanks a lot, man. Shout out to No Clean Singing. Fuck you, Brutal Fuck you, Joe. <laughs> All right, now we got, a, we got a feud going on between magazines. No, sorry, what was sorry again? Because he uh, paid me a beer. No, it's all right. Uh, I was going to say, I'm definitely going to hear, like, The Rack and The Crusher tonight. You know, pull out that early 90s shit. I will never, I will never tell what set list we're going to do. I'm not looking for the set list. I'm just saying it sounds like it might be a good idea. I'm telling you. Yeah, well, I mean, who, who can imagine, like, Essex being on stage and not playing the rack? You know? You're right, you're right. You know, it's a bit like Motorhead not playing Ace of Spades. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait, wait, is it, is it a fucking, coming at the end here, they're throwing it right in front of me, gotta be fucking right into this shit. Yeah. Now, I gotta say, one of, one of the death metal albums that was like a big genesis for me with a like European death metal was Consuming Impulse. And hearing you on there, I mean, I heard some death metal vocals before that, but I never heard anything like you, and I don't think I ever fucking will. What do you got? What do you got to say about that? I have no idea what I got to say. You know, I think there's a there's a few other singers too that I, you know, that are pretty fucking brutal. I'm not the only guy you know around. So, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to hear. It's like I feel like when I have like a dry cough, I could do a good impression of you or something like that. Yeah, something like that, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So what's what's it been like with Asfix since you guys reunited? Well, it's one uh, it's one big, wonderful, fucking beautiful. Success story. I don't know. It's, it's, we have a fucking great atmosphere everywhere we play. It's just nice and yeah, it's just incredible. I mean, you, you we do it for the bloody fun, you know. And and you get it. That is even more fun than we expected. And still, we have a lot of surprises of countries you've never seen before, crowds you've never seen before, fans everywhere that you meet and hang out with. It's just fantastic. Is there any country in particular that you haven't been to that really impressed you with their crowds? Uh, well, and, and uh, right nowadays, I mean, last we didn't we did a few shows in the Czech Republic, and uh, yeah, they fucking blew me blew me away, and uh, Romania as well. You know, it's been just a really long time. No, I mean Romania, we never played there, so we came up for the first time, and it was like completely out. Uh, and the Italians as well, the Italians just blew me away. I mean, we did a fucking nice show there to get. I mean, it was a nice bill anyway because we did we did it together with Sodom. Oh, so we had like Sodom and Asphyx together. And uh, yeah, we loved it, but yeah, the crowd was like completely berserk, like wow, you know? So yeah, it was fantastic. But yeah, so every day, every show, we still get surprised by, you know, uh, the feedback of the crowd and the fans. It's just it's really amazing. They, they always back us up. And yeah, we will never let them down, so. No, you, you can't, because if it wasn't for the fans, you guys wouldn't be here and it wouldn't be as special for you guys. Exactly. Now, are you going to be touring the States anytime soon, either be like Asfix or Hail of Bullets or whatever, anything like that coming up? No, no. Sorry, sorry to disappoint people, but the touring is really difficult for us. I mean, people forget that I play basically every weekend with all kinds of bands. It's not because of me, but I already do like 50 or 60 or 70 shows a year, you know? So, there's more intense than when a band is just only a tour for like 30 shows or something. So, um... And then, the, yeah, it's, it's really hard to, to work things out with, uh, because all the other guys, they have a job, and, uh, you know, you really have to combine everything, different jobs. One is a teacher, you can't just...
go out and let the kids, you know, sit yeah. there at school and the teacher's not showing up, for example. I'm a fucking teacher. Yeah, well, I mean, you're calling a ball. You know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just say, oh, let's go uh, take holiday outside the holiday times, you know. Yeah, let's just fucking get out of here. Yeah. I mean, if it's Easter, it's Easter, and then you have your holiday. If it's like summer's holiday, you have your holiday. Yeah. So, yeah. And then the others don't. I can only imagine. I mean, coming out for a couple of days like this, really a celebration of all the metal and getting everybody out here, and really, it makes it worthwhile. Like, you play one set, and you're fucking set because you can see everybody else that's out here and having a fucking great time. You get to catch these other bands that maybe you otherwise wouldn't see. They're pulling these guys from, like, the depths of hell to get them out to this fucking place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's, the thing is, with this one, it was really rough, you know, because we have to fly, like, but in total... We'll be traveling maybe, what, 30 hours? You know, just to go and just to come and get back. That's a bit of a rough one, but yeah, it's worth it because the Maryland is really something special. And like you said, like you can, you know, you can check some bands out. Um, yeah, and, and, and just, and basically, finally meet like, you know, the, the North American, even the South American crowd because everybody's here. And like, you know, show the people, Right, okay, you can have a chat, you can have an autograph, you can take a picture and just show them, like, okay, we're here, you know? And we won't let you down, in a way, you know, in that way of, like, being here. When, when did you guys get in? Yesterday. Did you catch any of the show yesterday? Uh, yeah, we went to see Incantation, like, later on, of course. I must have missed you at Ramset, I know I was there, but... Yeah. Is there anything that you're looking forward to, like, a band seeing today or tomorrow? Well, I was a bit sad that I just missed entrails because I had to do like interviews, you know, with you people. You know? <laughs> no, like, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really want to see Dark Angel, but uh, well, I've heard some stories now where I go, okay, which I'm not going to tell. It's like I inside hear, shit. I understand. But um, I'm not sure. I mean, I was really looking forward to see them. I don't know when the sacrifice play. I think they play tomorrow afternoon. Okay, now we gone. Damn it! You're leaving right after this. Yeah, we leave tomorrow, like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because the guys couldn't get any uh, day or extra off work, so yeah, that was really fucked. So yeah, I was really I, for me actually, sacrifice was really the main thing. Because I never see these guys, and I fucking love their albums. Even the last one is fucking good. I never checked those guys out. I gotta get on. I love my thrash too, bro. Bloody oh, hell! I mean, sacrifice. You should like torment in fire, fucking classic, and even the last one. I mean, it got released on such a small Brazilian label, no one knew. But it's like, wow! One but the, the ones best albums like made in, 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 in the last five years. Well, I guess the ones in the know really knew about it then, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely, I mean, okay, sad, I can't see them, but you definitely have to check them out, really. So, and yeah, yesterday we saw it at the gates. And you're hanging out with Thomas right now, too, and we interviewed him before. He's a fucking great guy, yeah, really no, down to we, earth. We always meet each other somewhere in Uganda. I mean, they're a cool band, they're cool lads, they're just like, what's... You know, with the legs on the ground, no fucking big headed, and even they're a big band, you know. I I, fi I figured you uh, you Europeans kind of stick together, you know. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, not just that, but I mean, Swedes and 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 the Dutch and the Germans and, and English. I mean, everybody gets along really well, you know. Also, the Italians and the French. It's like, uh, yeah, that's my whole big fucking global family, something. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good American guys too, you know. Oh sure, sure. So. It's, like I said, it's global. Talk about like the genesis when all you guys started out. I mean, it was probably you guys had to hang together, trading tapes with these other bands and everything like that. You know? Yep. That's fucking amazing to like. And, and you know, that kind of atmosphere is still there because they're all the guys too. And I just, I'm sure they fucking appreciate what's going on with them. Like, oh, you know, remember when we were back in the days in a fucking shitty practice room? You know, like. And now you're standing here on stages like this and enjoying it. It's like remember when we were grotesque? We were hanging out. With Doing all this other shit in Sweden before. Yeah, exactly. The and Grotesque was fucking cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I mean, any any parting words for uh, for the listeners? Anything to say? Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, thank you for this interview, and uh, yeah, maybe you know, hopefully people will read or hear this, <laughs> and you know, show up tonight, and yeah, well, hopefully we'll pull a hell of a show. I say hopefully. I mean, normally we would, but you never know what can can happen. You know, like monitors can blow up or AMs will not function. You know. Yeah. You know the kind of shit. But now. If all goes well, we'll pull a good show. And we're going to enjoy it. So, yeah. Look forward to tonight. Look forward to the rest of the day. It's going to be uh, we're going to be fucking nice. And I'm happy to be in America again. Even if it's this short, but yeah. I am. Well, Martin, we really appreciate the time, man. We really appreciate talking to you. We're really talking to a legend. And, you know, really, just thank you yeah. so very much. Okay.
right? Cheers, man. Thank you. This is Tom for Brutalitopia signing off. Fucking cheers!